Hey guys, what's up? Apple Critics here, and today this is going to be my video on how to jailbreak uh, iOS 4 using Redstone. Now, this jailbreak works for Mac and PC, and this jailbreak only works for the iPod Touch 2G, non MC model, and the iPhone 3G. Now, you'll need the latest version of iTunes, which is 9.2, which there will be a link in the description. Now, don't upgrade to iOS, iOS 4 if you are using a carrier unlock. To know if your iPod Touch is non-MC, uh, you'll go into Settings, General, and About. If it doesn't start with the letters MC, then it will be supported and you can use it with this jailbreak. And if it does, if it starts with MC, then you can use your iPod Touch 2G for this jailbreak. Now, this jailbreak doesn't work for the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3G, as well as the iPod Touch 2G MC model. If you're using an iPhone 3G, or iPod Touch 2G non-MC model, you just update to 9, iTunes 9.2 and upgrade to iOS 4. Now what you'll do is open up your browser of your choice and then you'll go into uh, which browser you want to go into. So then you'll go to www.felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware. After you're in that website, you'll go into the bottom of the website and then it will say iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G. So then you'll download the following firmware for those devices. So after you're finished doing that, you'll open up Red Snow. So then you'll go to Browse, and then you'll browse for the iPhone 4.0 firmware. And then you'll hit Open. Then it will process the firmware and then it'll say IPSW su successfully identified. So then you'll hit next, and then it will prepare the jailbreak data. Now, uh, it'll, it'll, it will allow you to select the options of your choice. Now, if you want to jailbreak, you'll install Cydia, but I have already jailbroken using iOS 4. So, you'll uh, check Cydia, but I have already jailbroken. Now you'll see that it has three new features. It says enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper, and enable battery percentage. Now this doesn't uh, usually come with the iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G, but by using this jailbreak you can enable these features. So then if you want to enable multitasking, a home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage, uh, check these three. Now, to jailbreak, you'll install Cydia, but I've already installed it. So, a custom recovery logo, you can choose a picture for uh, when you are in recovery logo, recovery mode. And a custom boot logo will give you a logo when you boot up your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now you can hit next. So, uh, make sure your device is both off and plugged in to the computer. So then you'll hold on the power button and then wait till it says slide to power off. And then you'll wait for your device to turn off. And if it is not off, plug your device into your computer first, then hold down the power button on the edge of the, the device until slide to power off appears. So then you'll click next once your device is both off and plugged in. Now once you hit next, it'll go completely uh, into the jailbreaking uh, steps, so then you'll have to be ready. So the first step is to hold the home and power home button the power button at the top for three seconds. So now you'll hold the corner for three seconds, and now you'll without releasing the power button hold the home button in the center. So without releasing the home button, release the power button but keep holding the home button for 25 seconds. And now it will say uh, your device is being processed and waiting for reboot. Now you should see a white screen on your device. And now you should see an icon that says downloading jailbreak data. Once you see that icon, you can let go of the home button. Now your device should be in DFU mode.
So now on the screen it will say done and then you can uh, hit the finish button right there. So now once your device reboots, you'll be jailbroken on iOS 4. Now uh, to enable multitasking, all you'll do is go into an app and then hit the home button twice and then it will be multitasking. Now to uh, change your home screen wallpaper, uh, you'll go into settings, wallpapers, and then you can choose which uh, wallpaper you want on your home screen and which wallpaper you want on your lock screen. Now, uh, initially when you jailbreak uh, using Red Snow, Cydia will have a blank icon. So to get the icon, you'll go into Cydia, wait for it to load, and then you'll go to Sources, Manage, Edit, Add, and then you'll add the following source. apt.saric.com slash Cydia dash 3.7. Now, uh, that's all you have to do in order to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch 2G. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and rate 5 stars. Thanks for watching.